Hi, it's Jamie with UK Extension and today we're at the beautiful University of Kentucky LFUCG Arboretum and we're talking about crab apples. Crab apples are one of the showiest flowering spring trees that we have and there's a lot of them out there. Unfortunately, many people who have older crab apples also have noticed that there's a real problem with many of them in the summer in that disease issues can take all the foliage off and result in a nearly naked tree and that's not real great for the tree. It's generally not life threatening. But I want to talk about them because what most people do not realize if you're in the market for a flowering tree not all crab apples are created equal. There are four major diseases of crab apples in Kentucky and those would be scab, cedar apple rust, fire blight, and another one that's totally evading me right now. But these diseases can affect the foliage and cause them to fall. And in the summer, that sort of sets the plant back just a little bit. And they typically recover the following year, but the cycle can repeat again and again and again. So let's talk about some of those. There's a lot of different published lists. Universities have done extensive research on the better crab apples for landscapes. So I would just tell you to not just randomly grab a crab apple, but rather to do some research and make sure you get one that's going to be a good healthy candidate throughout the season. A couple of varieties that I know to be good. The, the reddish pink we're standing in front of is likely prairie fire and it is one of the most disease resistant. Another large white one that's very popular is Donald Wyman. I believe there's a yellow called uh, yellow fruited form called golden harvest or golden something that is also disease resistant. And there's a very compact short stumpy little one called sergeant crab that is a among the most disease resistant that comes in white and in a much smaller, more like 10 to 12 foot size. So crab apples can be wonderful landscape plants if you get the right one. They're generally fast growing, have very few insect and disease problems if you get a disease resistant crab apple and they last uh, for years and years and years. They're fairly persistent in the landscape. These are fairly young so they have that lollipop appearance but as they grow and mature as you can see on some of these older ones they become more graceful, more bonsai like and they're just lovely trees. In addition to these spring flowers we're going to have beautiful small, generally smaller than a marble, fruits in either red or yellow as the case may be. So so think about flowering crab apples, an excellent choice for a landscape provided you seek out the ones from some of those lists that are the more disease resistant.